Hello and welcome to the Bonehead Championship. I'm Ben for the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to your Round 3 Match 1 Game Preview. So coming up this Saturday will be our match between the Tootwell Tiny Titans, our Snotling team, and the Never Bay Nightmares, our Skaven team. So what we're going to do uh, in this video is we're going to have a look at both of those teams. We're going to talk through the coaches that are playing them. We're going to talk through the Viewer Championship and then we're going to talk through the very exciting twist for Round 3. So we've got our Skaven team, the Never Bay Nightmares. So these guys are 1-0-1 at the moment. They've won a one game and they've lost another. So that's reasonable for Skaven. Skaven can be really powerful, but only if the dice hold out. So this team is sitting at three rerolls, three dedicated fans, 75k in the treasury. And the reason for that is because we are saving up to pick up Gutter Runner number three. So we're sitting at uh, 1,085,000 gold pieces that's going to give the snotling team a ton of inducements but realistically when you're playing against snotlings there's nothing you can do about that and the fact after two games we've almost gone up 100k is probably on par with skaven so we've got one rat ogre the toxic rat venger we've got buzz justice and thrill kill warp claw sitting at zero spp that's both our blitzers um from a priority of development i'd like to get them boosted up as soon as possible then we get access to some of those strength skills you know, a piece of guard might be nice on this team. Um, but we've got Rat Think, three toes, and Ixral Rush Rushed, two gutter runners, again, sitting at no SPP at all. Which I find absolutely crazy that so far we've had no gutter runner touchdowns. Nothing yet. Let's see what we can do in this match. Skaven versus Snotlings is a tough one. Um, there's going to be a ton of tackle zones to run through, but Tidgey doesn't actually put a modifier on it so there's gutter runners with two plus plus uh, dodge rerolls might be in for a big game here especially because we've got click warp slinger who's now got accurate so our skaven thrower is now one plus two plus for throws with movement seven as well so that's 13 squares on a two plus with a reroll pass I am very much looking forward to seeing this guy on the pitch. Let's hope we can get some more SPP brewing. He's sitting at 3 SPP. We need to get to 8 to get a second throwing skill, uh, potentially on the ball or even just Cannoneer at this point, boosted up. So 5 SPP for this guy would give him um, enough to start 1+, plus, 2+, plus, 3+, plus, 4+, plus throwing, and then we can start seeing him spread it out everywhere. Uh, Queet and Feskit, Lineman, one of them's got 3 SPP. Didn't take a random on here gonna try and save up for that one uh, we've got rotten ratkinson storm nose and gritlock are the rest of the linemen on the team so storm nose with tackle i am expecting this guy to have a big match here okay skaven everything apart from the pump wagon and the trolls is looking at having dodge so storm nose is going to be three die blocking with tackle all over the place so i think we are potentially going to be seeing him get some more spps and hopefully brew him up into being a, a kind of a third blitzer for the team gritlock having kick is going to be brilliant as well so even though the snotlings are going to be able to put swarming uh, swarming players on wherever the ball lands at the same time that kick is going to be able to pin them deep and i think that's going to be really key against snotlings they are great there's a ton of them and they are fast but then, then they're fast. They're sneaky more than fast. They are quite slow. So if we can pin them either close and try and mob the ball and do some scaven things or pin the ball right at the back and just make the most of our strength advantage, see if we can pile the pressure on, um, it's going to be an interesting one. We do have an Apothecary on the Never Bay Nightmares team as well. So if any of our key players go down, we can keep them alive, which is going to benefit the team in the long run. The two world tiny titans are our snotling team. So they are 0-1-1 and -1 at the moment, which means they've got one draw and one loss, which for snotlings ain't too bad especially given that a draw was pretty pretty hard for uh, the second game did not go so well for these guys so there's not a huge amount of team development in the way of anything at all we've got two little snotlings down here at three spp we're waiting to get to six spp for those it keeps our team value down and also gives us a chance at rolling a cool general skill so imagine that a blodging snotling we're going to be brewing up some heroes down here that's the goal um hail one of our fungus flingers did score the mvp so we're looking to get two spp somehow on that player and we can start throwing accurate bombs that's that's where the fun begins uh paul got a casualty to put him at two spp another four needed to get another 
another uh, general level up there. But we do have Barry the Brawler sitting there with Brawler skill. Uh, Triple T, the Toot World Tiny Train or the Terrible Train. Uh, Pump Wagon, again, no development. But the roster itself is in a pretty good space for Snotlings. Four rerolls, five dedicated fans lost a game that's the difficulty of having those dedicated fans so high is if you lose you're gonna probably lose one so gone down to df5 um 175k in the treasury now we're not fussed about gold but we still haven't actually failed a roll so far so sitting there with a load of money it is getting tempting to buy a pump wagon although keeping our team value low at the moment is giving us a ton of petty cash so we're sitting there in this match with 350,000 for petty cash and inducements but we'll come to that in a minute so two trolls one with brawler we've got the pump wagon we've got two fun hoppers Uppen and atom we've got two stilty runners leroy and jenkins we've got hail and mary too uh, both are bombardiers no skills on those and we've got a bunch of snotlings as well uh, but snotlings only get names once they do stuff so we've got catapult two and nose pick both sitting at three spp so 350k inducements wise we are going to take one riotous rookies for 100k has to be done you need the extra swarming bodies so let's get some brown coats on the pitch they've got loner so we'll deploy them on the line and we'll just let them die and it's fine because we'll just buy more next time around so that's 100 gone then we'll take hack phlegm let's get hack phlegm it's game three for the snotlings we've got enough petty cash to be able to run him as well so 180k is going to give us a movement nine strength three edge one plus threat that is going to be absolutely huge for this team um, I think that leaves us with 70k left over, so we will take one bribe so that we can keep that pump wagon on when we need him to. Now, the very, very cool thing here is that we get one mega star player, a pump wagon, two trolls, all of our snotlings, and a spare bribe to keep him cooking as well. We've got four rerolls. This is looking to be a powerful situation for snotlings. Skaven are slippery. That's fine. But actually, we've got so many players here. We've got so much potent potential. I don't know. I don't know which way this matchup's going to go, and I don't know which team I'm playing yet. So I'm pretty excited. Either one of these teams, it, this is actually a lot closer than I think it looks. Actually, very quick correction here. Catapult 2 is missing this game, so we won't have the opportunity to grab that player an extra, um, an extra couple of SPP. What we have done is there's a dead Snotling and I think another miss next game as well, so we've dropped... 30k replace those guys so that we've got a full lineup ready for the match so we've had a look at the teams now let's talk through the coaches so you're going to have ben versus ben again now i love both of these teams and uh, like i said in the team talk i wasn't sure which team i would have been playing i am now we've played the game it's a good game you're gonna love it coaches wise you've got me and you've got ben blood type ben okay now, I love Skaven. I play a lot of Skaven. I do pretty good with Skaven. I also do pretty good with Snotlings. Ben does pretty good playing with Skaven. This is going to be his first match, I think, piloting Snotlings proper. He's played against them many times. And as I'm sure we covered in the team videos a moment ago, we're having to do this in a bit of a disjointed, timely manner. He's played with Hackflem before, he's played against Hackflem many times, and he is running Hackflem. So basically, your choice this week is going to be between me running Vanilla Skaven, not even Vanilla Skaven, me running Two Gutter Ogre Skaven, versus Ben running Hackflem Snotlings. And I think it's time we talked about the very special element of round three, which is we put it to you guys. We put it to our Patreons. We said, hey, round three, let's introduce some rules from Death Zone. And you guys went with giants. So every team in round three is going to have a giant. So each one of these matches is going to also have a giant free rolled in there. Now that is a completely free rolled player. Okay, we're allowing it the 17th player. It is TV not affecting because both players get it. Basically, the people, the fans, the viewers, those players, those players, those people who are going to the Bonehead Championship matches, they wanted to see giants. Some giants have get involved and every team is going to run one. We've got two giants who are going to be playing in every single game. We've got Trojanus, our troll giant, and we've got Windsor, our big giant. Trojanus is from uh, Gentleman Broncos. Excellent film. If you've not seen it, it's ridiculous. It's brilliant. Um, Chevalier. It's a great film. And we've also got Windsor. It's Windsor. It's a Windsor Chog Giant. So it's got to be called Windsor. So we've got these two giants and they're going to be playing in every match for round three. 
and it is a very cool way to showcase the rules. We've played some games with the Giants and actually they run so good on the tabletop. They change the dynamic a little bit while getting those rules in there and it is so much fun. It is such sweet action. So this game, I will be running Skaven with a Giant. Ben will be running Snotlings with a Giant and Hackblem. And it is an absolute doozy. So we've talked through the teams, we've talked through the coaches, Skaven versus Snotlings. Potentially not the easy cakewalk you think it's going to be. However, we are going to now talk through our viewer championship. So our viewer championship, we tried this out with 7 Super Series and we've brought it back for this and it's been absolutely brilliant so far. So every week we put out a match preview video. This is it. Hello, welcome. Good job, everybody. And you get to guess the outcome of the match, okay? You get one point if you guess the right team winning. You get one point for each team whose score you get correct, regardless of the outcome, okay? So if you say that uh, Wood Elves are going to win and their Black Orc opponent only score, uh, scores two touchdowns, but actually Black Orcs win with two touchdowns, you still get points for that score being correct. So there's a maximum of three points per round. We would like your predictions in by 9 a.m., UK Saturday time please that is because we will put our game out every week on a Saturday to our patrons and it goes live for everybody else on the Sunday and we love our patrons but there's no point giving them the answer before you know they can still put the guesses in so we make sure that we have that little barrier there to make sure that no one gets too much information too much of a preview now normally what we do is we'd go through um, our standings to find out who is where now I'm getting married in 12 hours so um i can't wait to get all the guesses in and uh, and lock them in place before the actual thing so you will not be a standings piece this episode i'm very sorry we'll have to have a catch-up one next week when i'm back from scotland i'm not going to get a chance to film it in the meantime so i'm afraid we're gonna to have to skip that one for now but please get your guesses in it is so much fun to do and it is pretty impressive some of you who are absolutely nailing it bang on so there we have it. We've talked through the viewer championship. We've talked through the coaches. We've talked through the teams. And that is going to wrap up our round three match one preview. And all that's left to do now is wait for the game to come out on Saturday or Sunday, depending on how you're getting access to it. And I know that you guys are going to enjoy this one. It is great to get those giants to the pitch. We've got Hackflem, we've got Snotlings, we've got Bombardiers, we've got Ratoga. This is a full on game of Blood Bowl. This might be Blood Bowl as at its best. And that is a wicked thing to see. It was an awesome game to play. And I think you guys are going to really love it. So good luck guessing the score on this one. Because this might not... This, is a, this isn't a spoiler. It is a spicy one. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go and get married. And then go to Edinburgh for a week. So it might be a quiet week on the channel. But uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for taking part. Get your guesses in. Good luck and happy blocking. very much for watching we really appreciate your support if you want to help support the channel even further please like and subscribe or come join us on our patreon we have early access to content we get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can or you can get yourself some bonehead podcast merch on our spreadshirt site so if you want to support a team especially for the bonehead championship you can pick up a shirt a mug things like that it all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it anyway links below thank you very much happy blocking Thank you.